It all started as a graduate seminar. Then it got picked up by the Walla Gallery as a show idea. Then it got picked up by the National Musée d'Orsay in France. Right. And then it became a spectacularly successful show. Posing modernity, the black model from Manet and Matisse to today was the latest exhibit at the Wallach Art Gallery on Columbia's new Manhattanville campus. This ambitious and revelatory study investigates how changing modes of representing the black female figure were foundational to the development of modern art. From October to February, thousands of people have flocked to the Wallach Art Gallery to see what the New York Times is calling taut, riveting, and long overdue. Denise Murrell was a PhD student at Columbia when she began to ask very important questions about how we as a society fundamentally view some works of art. I spoke to Professor Anne Higane to learn more about this exciting exhibit. The idea came out of discussions in a seminar on the 19th century French painter Manet. We were, as a small group, discussing one work after another and trying to look at every painting with a very open mind. And Denise looked at maybe the most famous of all of Manet's paintings, Olympia, and said, why haven't we talked more about the fundamental role in modernity of race as Manet represents it in his painting? And the dissertation evolved straight out of a seminar paper I mean, that's sort of how it sometimes goes at Columbia, mm -hmm. that y y you have a little idea and then the institution makes it bigger and bigger and bigger and then it becomes something that, uh, that the New York Times devotes entire pages to. While planning the exhibit, Denise Murrell began talks with French curators who were quick to recognize the significance of her project and offered to expand it at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. Professor Higuenet says the reasons for this are obvious. No, nothing like this has been done before. Uh, not in the Columbia PhD program in art history, not at the Wallach Gallery. The show is timely. It's because it has a real idea behind it that has lots of wonderful twists and turns. There, It's not just a two-dimensional sort of one idea show. It's a show that really develops an idea in a lot of ways and clearly has contemporary relevance. Many undergraduate students credit Art Humanities as their favorite core class. Since 1947, students have taken part in a semester-long analytical study of a series of artists and their works. The class also teaches how to look at, think about, and engage in critical discussions surrounding the visual arts. I recently spoke with an undergraduate student to understand how posing modernity has played a crucial role in her understanding of the masterpieces of Western art. I think it means everything because in our study of Western, the Western canon, um, I think we often forget the effects that other communities had. And this, this exhibit was very much still a part of the Western canon, but just so showing a face that people often look over. So I think it was honestly crucial to seeing the effect that these different bodies, these different people had on the Western canon. The whole idea of the Columbia Corps is that a group of students get together and guided by a caring teacher who listens, they discuss why it is that some crucial aspect of human expression is always relevant in the present. What does Denise's show do for that? It helps every hum art humanities student take the issue of race into account as they think about self-expression and what it means to be a creative human being. Roberta Smith of the New York Times put it well. At every point, 
black models pose or raise the question of modernity. What is it? Who makes it? And who is it for? Thank you.